Candace Owens absolutely slams a group of snotty leftist and bratty students. This is a good one, guys. I think you're gonna like it. Candace Owens, as I'm sure you know, is uh, quite fiery with how she conducts herself sometimes, and it can be very entertaining and fun to watch. So we're gonna get right into it, guys. I think you're gonna enjoy it. I know I did. But first, everybody, you all know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Please be sure to like our video, share it around, and subscribe to the Resist the Mainstream channel. That way, we can keep bringing you these great videos, guys. So we really appreciate it, and thank you. As always, I'm your host, Darian, and let's get into the show. Hello. Uh, so my question is also about uh, trans people, um, because it's specifically about um, trans people competing in sports, because mm -hmm. I think everyone here can agree we need to protect women's sports. Um, so recently in Texas, there was a boy who won the girls wrestling state championship. Do you think that he should have been allowed to compete in that division? I think that a man taking down a woman on a map should warrant a call to the police. Wonderful. Um, and should not, of course, be considered a sport. Because uh, he he was actually born female and forced to compete in that division despite being on a shirt. I am so open to transgender people. Like, if you want, if they want to have their own division, go for it. I literally, in fact, I would love to watch it. Some I actually would love to separate, watch it. If you are cool. opting in as a man, as a woman, to having a man take you down on a map, on a mat, that is totally fine for me. But what is unacceptable is that we have these divisions. This is for women. This is for men. And you have people that are allowing men to compete in these women's divisions and to obviously dominate because going back to biology, right. men, of course, are stronger than women. They are always going to be stronger and faster than women. It's, it's like how Leah Thomas went from getting second place in a race as a man to winning the race. Yeah, it's, it's completely unacceptable and it's fraudulent and the exactly. people... Exactly, going from second to first does is, not happen naturally. Yeah. It, and so I, I think, I, I'm sorry, I don't know what going Steve from... Thomas, the swimmer who came in second place in oh, the as a man, Ivy that's right. Championships. Yeah. yeah, and then he just switched his and gender and suddenly was dominating. Went from second to first. Um, as someone who competed in athletics in college and high school myself, no one ever goes from second place to first place. Okay, so if you, uh, Leah Thomas was not in second place when he was competing with men. He absolutely Absolutely was. If you look no, at the 2019 Ivy League Championships, Gaines, no. I literally that is not look true. Look at the statistics. Ivy League Championships 2019 that is not true. Division in the 100 free for both the prelims and the finals. Okay, she came let me second. put it this way. Let's just maybe there was one race that he came in second place. The Ivy League Championships. Fine. Is one okay, race. thumbs up. Riley yes. Gaines, who has spoken about how she competed against Leah Thomas and it was not fair. Leah Thomas suddenly switching your gender, competing against women is not fair. I of am course open if you're to Leah losing, Thomas. You're say it's not fair. Don't ask me a question and then cut me off when I give you the answer. It's just obnoxious. It really is. Oh, that girl is just so insufferable and obnoxious and annoying. Something I find kind of funny is that people, you know, people like her, leftist, she's obviously a leftist. She believes that men should be allowed to play in women's sports. Okay, so it's not a stretch to call her a leftist. People like her will often cast away any type of so-called minority group who disagrees with them. As an example, when a woman is pro-life, they will very gladly call her a gender traitor or a sex traitor. You know, she's uh, she's living the handmaid's tale. She's uh, betraying her own gender. Oh, it's so terrible. They do the same thing with black people like Candace Owens, who might identify as conservative. It's really no different. But I wanna say something here real quick. I would argue that that girl is actually the gender traitor or sex traitor, whatever term you prefer. Because she right here is literally arguing that a man should play in a woman's sport and then acting like you're some kind of idiot or fool if you disagree. If you say, oh no, men are naturally stronger. Let's have the woman get their own division. Oh yeah, well, oh, cause second to first place never happens. Like it's just, it's so dumb. I don't need to explain it. I think you guys get it. So let's keep going. I am open to Leah Talamis and every other trans person having their own category at the Olympics and allowing them to compete. That is absolutely fine. Having their own category at high school universities, uh, at, at high schools, at universities, everywhere across the country and being able to compete. What I am not open to are biological men competing against women. If you want evidence that biological men will always defeat women, look no further than the actual Olympics and look at the time differences as it is when men are competing in a sprint versus women competing in a sprint, when men are co competing in a throw versus when women are competing in a throw. If you don't want to acknowledge biological reality, I want you to lead the trans Olympics. I want you to be the person that establishes the trans events for people. Thank you for your question. There's more people behind you. Okay. I love that your solution is separate but equal. What? 
So we already have a, what? Your solution is separate but equal? What are you talking about? We already have men and women divisions. So is that separate but equal? Next question. Hang tight, folks, because we have another bratty leftist who's about to get crushed by Candace as well, and you're gonna enjoy it. As if the example about wrestling that, ironically, the leftist girl brought up wasn't bad enough with a man beating a woman in a wrestling competition. Remember what happened with MMA, mixed martial arts? Fallon Fox, quite the name, isn't it? Fallon Fox is a man, or born a man, whatever, who competed in a woman's division. Guess what he did when he competed in that woman's division? If your guess was that he disfigured a woman and cracked her skull, you'd be right. That's what happens when you have men playing women's sports. And by the way, for this to even be a debate is so stupid, guys. Like, it's no wonder our collective IQs are dropping across the West. We're sitting here talking about stuff like this. How is this even a legitimate discussion or debate? Seriously, I mean, people who even dare to suggest that men should be allowed to play in women's sports should be laughed off the face of the earth at best and maybe bullied a little bit too. And I mean that. It's just so dumb. I'm so sick of it. And now we're at a point where gaslighting people like that girl who came and asked Candace a question will be like, oh yeah, so ridiculous to think that someone like Leah Thomas could go from second in the men's division to first. Oh, it's so dumb and stupid. While they're conveniently and blatantly ignoring the fact that he's playing against women and it's just one race, they're cherry picking. And again, why am I explaining it? It's so obviously transparently dumb. Let's go to the next clip and see Candace crush yet another crazy little leftist. I just think it's pretty disgusting that you referred to AOC as the bartender because that job is just as important as manipulating money on the stock market. Is it factually so. inaccurate? What? <laughs> is it factually inaccurate that she was a bartender? What? No, no, that's, that's Why is accurate. it disgusting? I, <laughs> what? <laughs> so why is it disgusting? <laughs> what? The president I think a billionaire real estate developer, I don't care. I think it's demeaning to her by just calling her a bartender. You know? It's demeaning to talk about someone's work history? <laughs> no, but the way you said it made it sound like that. Okay, I used to bartend less. and waitress, okay. so what's your question? Okay. <laughs> um, never mind, but. <laughs> uh, never mind. Really dropped that one quick, huh? Something I can't help but notice. Obviously, he's the one who's looking down on her work because he couldn't even articulate why it was so offensive that Charlie or Candace or whoever had called AOC a bartender. So what does that say about how he looks down on that job? He's the one saying, oh yeah, it's demeaning how you referred to her as the literal title of her job. I think that means you look down on it, not the people you're complaining about, bucko. I was wondering, Candace, why you didn't debate Kyle Kalinske from Secular Talk. What he says is that he was in um, coordination with the people at Politicon and they actually said that you weren't ready for debates. Okay, Wild so this is one of the weirdest internet rumors I ever heard about myself. I didn't attend Politicon. I didn't attend Politicon because I was in my sister's wedding. So I, I don't know why someone thought I was debating someone in California when I had a wedding in Connecticut, uh, but I, I never, it's just an internet myth. Will you do it next year? I don't really, is he, who's, who's Kyle Kalinske? Yeah, it's kind of like punching down for Candace, to be honest, so. Woo! <laughs> I'd like to debate I, AOC. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a Democrat candidate. I'm not, I'm not, we're not, I mean. I, mean, I, I talked to Kylie's and I talked to him on stage. We debated, it was fine, it was fun. Just kind of like Candace says, trolling yeah. a little bit. So there's, Also, Mike Gravel, 2020. <laughs> thank you for your question. Is it just me or does that guy look like he might be a member of Antifa? I don't know. I'm not saying he is or isn't, okay, before the fact checkers try to come at me or whatever, you know, fact check, blah, blah. No, I'm not, I'm not making a claim. But that guy, he looked a little uh, Antifa-like. That's all I'm gonna say about him. Well, guys, that wraps up our clip. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. As always, comment below. Let us know what you liked, what you wanna see next. And we'll see you guys again soon. Thank you and God bless.